Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be for the newbies. I am going to do a like tutorial on how I color my hair using a brush and bowl method. I get, I've gotten quite a bit of questions on the best way to do a brush and bowl. And it's really hard in the comment box to explain step by step, especially for beginners. And I figured I would just try this out and see if I can explain it more accurately with a video and just kind of show you how I do it and like do some of the tips and tricks that I've kind of picked up along the way that I feel are easier in my opinion. Um, I don't want to say that there's no right or wrong way because I bet if there's like a professional out there will be like, um, yeah, you're kind of doing it wrong. But I kind of feel like there is no right or wrong way to use a brush and bowl method. But this is what I feel works better. Um, anyways, so what you're going to need is when you set up, you're going to need your hair clips. You're going to need a brush and a bowl or brush and a bowl and gloves. You can use the ones that come in the box, but honestly... The ones that you get from Sally's, like you could buy a box of them. They're just so much nicer and they like fit better than the ones that come in the box. I'm going to use this Clairol Nice and Easy in the shade Blue Black. And if you're not familiar with my channel, I strictly do all black hair colors and all blue blacks just because I, that's what I like in my hair. It looks better on me than any other color. And nobody else does blue-black hair dye. So I figure, why not? So they come with gloves. And you get a bottle that has the developer in it. Which is, this is really liquid. And then this is the cream color. And I will show you how I mix it. And then this is the conditioner, which I never use. And I'm going in with two boxes. So I'm just going to jump right in and mix my color. And how you go about doing that is I'll put my gloves on. Sorry, I'm getting my color out of the box. And you take it. And if you're new to hair color, this it has a push pin and you just push it in to break it open and then you're just going to squirt it into your bowl and this was pretty easy work. Okay, so with some of them you need to mix before you put both containers of developer in just so it gets a little um, mixed well before you make like a giant mess because sometimes it can go, go a little overboard. So I'm, this is just one thing of developer and two packets of color. Now I'm going to go in with my second tube of developer to mix that. And see what I mean? It gets like really overboard where it could be very easy when mixing to make a mess and spill it everywhere. So depending on what type of color you're using, it it's easier to do like one at a time. Sometimes you can get away with mixing both, both boxes or both tubes, depending on what you're doing. Um, I... I always get myself into a get myself into trouble sometimes when it comes to mixing where I make like a gigantic mess. Cause I over I overdo it, but I feel like doing it slow and steady makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so now that it's mixed really well and it already starting to turn, you're gonna want to separate your hair into two sections. Some people like doing four, which is fine. But I feel like for me, two sections is perfect. I used to do four sections, but I feel like it takes longer. But if you're 
a newbie and you feel like doing four sections is going to be easier for you than you can. Um, I just feel like two sections is better. Um, and when four, you do four sections, you're going to do like this top section and you're going to do one, two and split that into two. And then you're going to split the bottom section into two. And I just kind of feel like it takes way too much time to do that. And it kind of tells you that in, in the instructions as well to do four sections. But honestly, it's just easy. I feel like it's a lot easier doing it this way. So how I start is I like to go in and go through the whole perimeter of my head and do the roots all the way around. And that's how I start off. And I will fast forward, but you'll be able to see everything. So there's going to be times that I'm not talking. So just to let you know that if I fast forward, you can still watch what I'm doing, but I'm not going to explain more because I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory if I already explained it the first time. <laughs> but um, just to let you know, I will be fast forwarding, but you can still see the process. So this I like to start up in the front and I like to get as close as possible. And I'm the type of person that has lots of baby hairs. So I like to do on my skin, which I know some people are like, but your hair is not right there. I don't really care. I want it to be, I don't want to miss anything. And I feel like with baby hairs, it's so easy to do. And I'm okay with getting it on my skin as long as I know that I'm getting my hair. So I will do, I will do that. And usually I have like at least a good couple centimeters of like skin that doesn't really have hair, but you just never know with baby hairs. And I hate when my hair doesn't match. And I know that sounds so bizarre, but I just do. So, um, Yeah, so that just, it just drives me crazy when I see baby hairs that I just colored that don't match what I just did. Okay, so I already did around my head. And now I'm gonna go in and do this middle part right here. And then now that that's done, I like to go from the top. So I'll just take this clip down and then I like to just separate it in the middle. And then I do just the roots from both sides.
Okay, now that that side's done, I'm gonna do the roots for this side. Now that that's done, I like to go in and do the roots on the bottom section. And instead of going vertical, like I did this way, you're gonna go horizontal. So you're just gonna, I like to start from the bottom and I like to just split it up here and then do the color. I don't know if this is gonna see just like this. And that is done. Now I like going back in and doing the top. And the reason why I go top to bottom is because you want your roots to get done first and let that process. And then I start, I always start with the top because I feel like the top is the one spot that like everybody sees. So I'm gonna split it down the middle again. I'm trying to take the color off of the brush and it's not working. So I'm gonna get a little section. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can take your hair color and brush it on your hair and rub it in, but I kind of feel like that takes a while and I feel like that's messier. So I like to take one scoop front and back and just rub it in. And then I'll take that little section and then just run the color like so. And then like really massage it in so that you don't miss like any um, hairs. I feel like it just to get it nice and saturated. And then when I'm done with that section, I just toss it on the other side. So just take one scoop, slather it on, and then rub it in both hands, and then just do my section. I feel like it's a lot easier to do it that way than with the brush, because I feel like you use way more product when you're doing it like this, cause you're just putting it on and then you just are like, oh, well I missed that section and you grab more. And then by the end, by the time you're done, you're just like, I don't have enough hair color and to do the rest of my head. And I've been there, I've done that. And I just feel like doing it this way, it's a lot easier cause you can kind of feel what's saturated and what's not. And if you're using only one little brush scoop, you have a plenty of no, plenty enough color left over to go back. And I will show you because there's some colors that you do really need to be sparing. And I feel like just using one, like you basically just dip your brush in and then you wipe it off on your hand, front and back, so that you get plenty enough color. And then you just rub a small section of cup of hair in between that and you, you're golden. Like this is just one dip 
and then you just rub it on your glove. And then you're just rubbing the hair in between. And you basically have both top and bottom to cover and saturate it. And you don't want big chunks, you want like nice little sparing ones. And then sometimes you even have color left over on your gloves and you can basically fully saturate that strand of hair where you don't need to go in and get any more color. Okay, so now that is done. I'm just gonna put that up in a clip, just so it doesn't get everywhere. Okay, so now that the top is done, I'm just going to clip it with this and do the back. And I'm going to do the back the same way that I have been doing it. But instead, I like to start with the top instead of the bottom layer and do it the same exact way. Okay, so now we're finished. Now, I'm the type of person that hates wasting leftover color, and I have quite a bit extra leftover. So what I like to do is I like to make sure that it my whole entire head is super saturated, especially at the ends and the roots. So I like to take in both sections another big handful, and I do it a little bit more, um, more than what I would do for any little section and I put more on and I just kind of like mix it together and make sure that it's really well saturated and then I go up here and do the same thing and then until all the hair color is gone and I like to go around again one more time just to make sure that I didn't miss any roots and that just landed on the towel and that is why we put towels on the ground so you don't ruin your floor or your sink like I have a towel in my sink and I have a towel on the floor 
so that when accidents happen, especially with color that's a little bit more liquid, like this one that I'm using, it's easy to splash and it's easy to drip. Now I love to make sure that all of my roots are done and the ends are really saturated and I just like to massage it in my hair. And if you have a hair color that itches your head, this is a good time to get all the itchies out. And I like to go around and just make sure that all my roots are covered. I don't like to waste hair color because I feel like you spent this much money on the hair color to begin with, especially if it's like six bucks a box and you need more than one, you're, I'm going to use it all. I'm going to make sure that my whole entire head is covered before I'm done. Okay. So now that I'm done, I'm going to leave it on my hair for 30 minutes and then I will wash it and dry it and blow dry it and do whatever else I need to do. But, um, I will set my timer for 30 minutes and get everything washed. And I really hope that this is informative for anybody that's just beginning, just starting out and just wanting to learn how to do the basics on using a brush and bowl. And I feel like the way that I just showed you how to do it, I feel like is the easiest way versus doing it in four sections because then you're going to have to do this side. Then you're going to have to do this side and you're going to have to take all these hair clips out. And I feel like if you just separate it into two, you basically can cut down like three minutes of wasted time. And I mean, if it's easier, if you have a lot of hair, it might be a lot easier to do four sections. But for me, I feel like it's just easier to do two and it's a lot easier to just take your hair color and just put it on your hand and just rub it in and massage it in versus holding your hair and then like swiping it because I feel like you have to do that side then you have to do underneath and if you already put like one brush I look horrible I have hair color everywhere um you're gonna just take your brush slap it on your hand and then you can already do front and or top and bottom and you're already mixing it and then you can go to the next. I feel like that's a lot quicker and easier than doing just brushing it on. So anyways, I am going to let this process and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe to my channel. I will do a video on how to do, um, doing it with the, whatever the hell it's called, the bottle. <laughs> and show you how I would use it. Um, I'm very messy with using a bottle. I mean, I'm messy using a brush as well, but I'm like really messy using this, but I will show you how I do it and um, show you a little tips and tricks on that. It's basically the same exact way that I would do this, but it's a little more difficult with, I feel like this and trying to get all the hair color out of the bottle. But anyways, yeah, if you use any black hair dye or blue black hair dye and you have any like requests, just leave the comment or leave them in the comments below and I will, if I haven't done it already, I will see if I can get my hands on it and do it for you so you guys can see the results and my thoughts on the hair color. All right. Bye guys.